What color is the moon? Tonight there's a full moon. Its name isn't completely clear. Corn moon, seems to have stuck, but some are using, harvest moon, barley moon, and, fruit moon. What is always clear is that the moon does change color, and it's something you can see very clearly on Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning and Wednesday evening this week if you know exactly when and where to look. I'm not referring to a blood moon, total lunar eclipse, April's pink moon, a mere name, not a descriptive name, or the terms blue moon, which refers to the rare occasions where there are two full moons in the same month. The moon rarely if ever looks blood red, pink or blue, so what color is the moon? In fact, the moon will this week briefly look a glorious and delicate orange before it gradually changes to a pale yellow, but only if you know exactly when to look at it. You can see the moon look orange whenever it's close to the horizon, so at moonrise and moonset. It doesn't have to be full, but it's certainly the most impactful when it is, partly because it occurs in a twilight sky. So check the exact times of moonrise and moonset for your location. Here's when and where to see the phenomenon this week. Try to look at a full moon when it's high in the sky and you will find it almost impossible to look at it for more than a few seconds, the glare is just too much. However, when observed close to the horizon, not only is the full moon less bright, but it's a muted orange that gradually turns to a pale yellow, which slowly brightens as it rises higher in the sky. Not 20 minutes after it has first been sighted on the horizon, the full moon will be high in the sky, a definite white, and too bright to look at. Try to find a location that has a clear eastern horizon to catch the moon rising as the sun is setting. A clear western horizon will be needed to see the moon setting before sunrise, a moon setting during the day isn't much of a sight. If your view is very clear, then you will definitely notice a pronounced reddish-orange tinge to the moon due to the effect of Earth's atmosphere, said Billy Teets, outreach astronomer, Vanderbilt Dyer Observatory. Because the Earth's atmosphere is densest near its surface, objects seen close to the horizon have their blue light scattered, resulting in a reddish tone. The physics is the same as why sunsets are orange, and why the sky is blue. Earth's oxygen and nitrogen-rich atmosphere absorb some wavelengths of light more than others. Light with short wavelengths, such as blue, hit more particles and are more easily absorbed and scattered. That's why the sky is blue. Colors with longer wavelengths, such as orange, are not absorbed as easily. So when you look at a sunset, a sunrise, a moonrise or moonset, you're looking at something close to the horizon, where the atmosphere is thickest. The yellow, orange and red end of the spectrum therefore dominate the light that makes it to your eyes.